AirPods live translation sounded like a game changer, but here's the bad news. If you're in the EU, it won't actually work, even for supported languages like French, German, or Spanish. Why? Because it's tied to Apple intelligence, which is currently blocked in the EU. That leads to some weird situations. An American in Spain can use it just fine, but a German in France? No chance. The feature does run on your iPhone instead of the earbuds themselves, but you'll still need at least an iPhone 15 Pro or newer running iOS 26. On top of that, Apple is making iPhone decisions harder than usual. The new iPhone Air is thin, stylish, and super light, while the Pro models pack insane power. Even Apple's own design chief admitted people will struggle choosing between them. It's a real battle of style versus performance. But here's the twist. Apple's A19 chip lineup is also breaking tradition. For the first time ever, there are three versions, a base A19 in the iPhone 17, an A19 Pro with 5-core graphics in the Air, and a beefier 6-core version in the Pro models. Apple's turning chip strategy into a three-tier game. And if you're wondering how the iPhone Air got so thin, it's thanks to a clever trick, a 3D-printed titanium USB-C port that's not just slimmer but also stronger, using a third less material than standard designs. That's some next-level engineering. Big shifts, tough choices, and one frustrating EU block. Apple's not making things simple this year. Would you pick power, design, or wait until Apple sorts out the EU mess? Follow for more at The Bite Orchard on TikTok, Instagram, and X.